Hello, welcome to Surrey TV. My name is Victoria Durant. We're here today at Hazelmere Museum, right in the heart of Hazelmere. G arrives in Woking. Woking Borough Council has welcomed the switch on of cutting edge technology so that 4G mobile services will give residents and businesses even faster mobile internet connections. The new technology means that Woking is now one of the country's most connected towns. Staying in Woking, this weekend, 13th, 14th and 15th of September, also sees the launch of the first ever Woking Food and Drink Festival. The festival is set to be a mouth-watering event with over 40 stands of food and drink for residents to sample and enjoy. There will be culinary demonstrations with chefs from local restaurants and TV, hosted in the newly refurbished Jubilee Square in the centre of Woking. The three-day celebration of food and drink will showcase the best of the area's producers, chefs and restaurants. For more information, visit wokingfoodanddrink.co.uk. Scam calls return to Surrey. It would seem that the so-called Microsoft technical department are ringing around Surrey again. Be aware that Microsoft never phone their customers to give technical support. These calls that originate in India are very much a scam with the objective of charging you £200 for a piece of software that doesn't actually do anything except ruin your PC. They will also try to access your bank account details if you allow them access into your computer. It has been found that the best way to respond to these calls is to simply say, I don't speak English. They hang up pretty quickly and invariably don't call you back again. Cars and horses. As the weather turns and the light fades during the transition into autumn, Surrey TV would like to ask drivers and dog owners to think about the equestrian community. The British Horse Society told Surrey TV that this is always a tricky time for horse riders as the season changes and we all adjust to the new weather conditions, whether they are on horseback or with horse power. Although most riders will avoid riding nesties during busy times on the roads, loose dogs can cause similar problems, especially if they are not used to being around horses. As we all share our countryside for the enjoyment of our animals, it only takes a little consideration to create a winter of content rather than discontent. Burns and Weber Three Peaks Challenge. A team of courageous Surrey estate agents from Burns and Weber completed the Three Peaks Challenge that we reported in last week's news. I met with Dan Dewar of Burns and Weber earlier in the week and asked him how the challenge went. Hello Dan, so how was the challenge? Hard actually, much much harder than I think any of us gave it credit for. We didn't do any training, um, bought walking boots a week before um, and were a little surprised when we had to walk 30 miles. Gosh, so how did the team cope? Overall okay, it was definitely harder than we thought and we didn't all make all three of the peaks straight away but we all got up there in the end and we did it in 22 hours 30. Brilliant. Yeah. So, um, how much money did you raise in the end? Our target was 4,500 in total, and we raised just shy of 6,000. Fantastic. Yeah. So, with that money, what's that going to get spent on? So, the company is Disability Challenges, mm -hmm. and they provide respite care for families with very disabled children. Um, and that money goes towards 53 children to have one on one summer sessions um, of care. Brilliant. Yeah, it's really good cause. Really great. good cause. Thanks, Dan, that's great. We'll look forward to hearing from you after your next challenge. Excellent, can't wait. <laughs> Eye Awareness Week. Next week is National Eye Awareness Week and the Surrey Association of Visual Impairment are holding five key events in towns around the county. On Monday, they'll be in the Peacock Centre in Woking. On Tuesday, they'll be in the Mall in Camberley on Wednesday in the Elmsley Shopping Centre in Staines, with a stand in the Ashley Centre in Epsom on Thursday, and on Friday they will be at the lower end of North Street in Guildford with the guide dogs and the sensory tunnel. 
After lunch, the mayor of Guildford, Diana Lockyer Nibs, will be taking the challenge of the sensory tunnel. There will also be other sensory challenges that are all are welcome to take part in. Everyone is welcome and you will gain a new insight into life with impaired vision. Shop Surrey. As we enter the last quarter of the year, Surrey TV, in partnership with the Surrey Chamber of Commerce, will be launching the Shop Surrey campaign. The idea is to promote Surrey towns and villages and to encourage shoppers and retailers to do something different in this quarter. The Surrey Chamber of Commerce, as well as Surrey TV, are excited to be part of this programme as they work every day to encourage and build business and community in our county. Victorian era returns to Surbiton. This weekend we'll see the Tricyclingathon event in Surbiton, an event to celebrate all that is good about cycling. There will be three rides of different distances and all are welcome to join in. This year's event will see one of the first runs of a brand new penny farthing cycle. Built by Gareth Howell, the idea of the build was to honour Surbiton-based John Clean, otherwise known as Happy Jack. Happy Jack built one of the earliest penny farthings in 1869 and was a prolific cycle racer in the 1870s. The friends of this new penny farthing will dress in Victorian attire and be sporting moustaches associated with the period. Everyone who joins in on the day is encouraged to dress in Victorian style and behave like Victorians as they cycle their chosen route around the Surrey town. The event begins at 10am in Claremont Gardens, the Crescent in Surbiton. Thank you for watching Surrey TV and on behalf of the whole team I'd like to say a big thank you to everyone here at Hazelmere Museum and if you've never been to the museum it's a beautiful place to visit with lovely grounds and a vast variety of historical artefacts. Take care and enjoy the county. <laughs>